Hi there bookworms and welcome back to my channel. Nurse Evans here. All right, all right, you guys caught me. Of course, you know I'm not a real nurse, but what I am doing is representing one of the most critical and important career fields that we have in society. Now, it's very funny that I mentioned the word career because our new series is all about STEM careers. And of course, I already know you're gonna ask me, Miss Evans, what does STEM even mean? Now, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. So in this series, every video that we'll be watching will be highlighting one of the careers that falls under these categories. So if you're thinking about becoming the future of STEM careers locally or internationally, go for your notebooks and your pens because a lot of information will be provided for you. All right, let's get right into this one. Hi there, bookworms. Thank you so much for inviting me to your space. I am Mrs. Rochelle harris Burrell, science and special educator, founder of Care Beyond Reach Academy. I enjoy doing experiments and in that process I find out new things and now I'm able to share with you a little bit of what I know about chemistry. What is chemistry? Everything is made of chemicals. Chemicals are substances and chemistry is simply the science of studying these substances, their structure, their properties, and the reactions which can change them into other substances. We cannot avoid using chemicals. All products contain chemicals. So we, we really only have a choice about which chemicals to use and how they are made. What is an interesting chemistry fact that we need to know? Now a common error is the use of the word chemical and poison. They are not interchangeable, but we use them that way. However, poison in the context of biochemistry is simply a substance, whether natural or synthetic, that causes damage to living tissues and has an injurious or fatal effect on the body, whether it is ingested, inhaled or absorbed or simply injected through the skin. While a chemical is a distinct compound or substance used in or resulting from a reaction involving changes to atoms or molecules. There are chemicals that are poisonous, while there are many that are not. So now we know the differences between the word chemical and poison. What should I do to become a chemist? If you are interested in becoming a chemist, there are some things that you need to consider. Yes, to become a chemist, you would need to study chemistry at the high school level, whether you're doing CSEC or IGCSE, as well as the advanced level, which may include CAPE, IB, or A levels. Now, this is to ensure that you can be offered a space at the university level. When you get to university, now you'd have to do level one chemistry in your first year. Then you can decide which aspect of chemistry you really want to focus on in your subsequent years. Now, some areas in chemistry include general chemistry, analytical chemistry, food chemistry, and so on. So it is always important to make sure that you are passionate about pursuing chemistry because it takes a lot of work and dedication. Always review your study materials before going to your classes. Practice daily and maximize on your lab times. Now, some subjects that you will need, core subjects include your math and English. IT or information technology is very essential, especially for analytical chemistry. Thank you so much for listening. I do hope that you have learned something and that you have been able to find your interest in chemistry or just the sciences. Bye bookworms, see you soon, take care. All right bookworms, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope you learned a lot. Now, you know already what I'm going to tell you to do. Do not forget to like, comment below the next career that you want to see featured, share this video, and of course, subscribe to join me for the rest of this series. Bye.